What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a nice little DVD bookshelf or uh, rack. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Do a lot of these household and automotive projects. Alright, let's go. Alright, so I got all these scrap pieces of plywood, that's why I'm making this. I'd recommend using at least half inch or five eighths or bigger. And uh, you can make it any size you want. If you're going to make a bookshelf, I recommend probably doing the width of the shelves and the sides at least, you know, 10 to 12 inches for some stability and size for books. But I'm going to just rip these sides down to 7 inches and the shelves 7 inches. If you got a table saw, take that out. <laughs> Alright, so I got all the shelves cut up and I was going to say go ahead and cut the depth a quarter inch less on the shelves if you're going to put a back panel. I'm going to go ahead and mark off where the shelves are going to go every 8 inches. That'll be plenty of room for our DVDs. Alright, I laid out all the lines for the shelves and I messed up. I forgot the width of the wood so don't forget that. And I got a little space at the bottom I'll put a toe plate on after I'm done putting it together. So let's go ahead and put our square in the corners and we're going to go ahead and glue and screw these. We'll go ahead and pre-drill all of our joints. Here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the shelves all the way down. So I had to switch to nails because the uh, screws weren't really biting into the plywood. Uh, it'd probably be best if you had three quarter inch plywood to use the screws, but these nails will do just fine. Alright, I got it all put together and this is by no means even close to fine carpentry. This is as rough as you can get it. I'll go ahead and sand up all the rough edges. Now to fill in all these checks and holes in this crappy plywood so with some, uh, I'm going to use some spackling paste, but you could use wood putty or a drywall compound. I like to use this stuff because it's cheap and easy to spread. Plus, um, on a finish like this, I don't really uh, care about, you know, the color, seeing what it looks like or anything. So. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice little sand down. Wipe it all down with a nice wet rag, get it nice and clean. Now I'm going to put a coat of paint on it, and I think I'm just going to do like a whitewash kind of thing because honestly this thing ain't worth the time of doing a couple coats and uh, you know it is kind of shabby. Alright, I finished up painting and I ended up putting some of this quarter inch strip paneling on the back on the back of each shelf just to give it some stability. It was pretty shaky without it so you'll probably need to put some back paneling on the shelving. It's pretty standard. But uh, alright, let's put the DVDs on it. Alright, I got it all done. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to click the bell to subscribe to my channel so you can get all my notifications. Alright, thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself guys. Take care.